My name is Rob Pierce. I'm an attorney with Dufford Waldeck in Grand Junction, Colorado, and I specialize in water law. I'm going to talk with you about getting a groundwater right in Colorado. Uh, most people, when you talk about a groundwater right, think of a traditional cased well. Uh, you, know, you drill a hole in the ground, install a pump. There's sort of two uh, broad categories that uh, you can fall into with a well like that. Uh, one would be a, get a well permit and then to get a decree from the water court so you would have a decreed water right. That water right would be subject to a call by senior downstream rights, so it would be part of the prior appropriation system. When you pump water out of the ground, by law, it's deemed to be tributary to all the other water in the state in one fashion or another. If you're diverting from a creek, that's not a problem because the uh, water commissioner comes over and says that there's a senior downstream that needs water and so you've been called out, you've got to shut your diversion off. With a well, you can't do that. You can shut your well off, but if the water commissioner comes to you in July and says there's a call, you shut your well off, you pumped in June, and the depletions from that pumping aren't going to reach the stream until August, September, sometimes, depending how far you're away, it could be years before the depletions fully impact the stream. Those depletions are going to be causing injury to the senior. It's a problem we can typically solve, better if you can avoid it. The alternative to the default approach to getting a decreed well would be to get an exempt well. Um, the most common is a domestic exempt well, and these are wells that you can qualify for if you have uh, 35 acres or more of land and you don't have any other source of domestic water for your property. You don't have a municipal supply that you can buy a tap from. If you qualify for a domestic exempt well, you'll be entitled to divert 15 gallons per minute for in-house use, stock watering, up to an acre of lawn and garden, and uh, on up to three single-family dwellings. And because it's exempt, it's not subject to the prior appropriation system. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, you know, please contact uh, an experienced water attorney to get more information.